Welcome to Finbytes. Hi everyone, in today's video, we will be looking into what is real financial freedom and what are the steps to be followed to achieve it. So let's get started. High earnings, big savings or investing huge sums of money is not real financial freedom. And moreover, accomplishing such a target seems a big task for many. So what is real financial freedom? It is about saving that amount of money which is required to sustain our day-to-day -day needs and comforts. We need to have a realistic expectation in our life and once we achieve it, we can start dreaming bigger and focus on pursuing our interests. Once we achieve our expected money goals for our financial freedom, there will be no one to stop us in pursuing our passions and dreams. So, how do we achieve financial freedom? To successfully achieve a state of real financial independence, there are nine important steps which we should follow. They are plan, analyzing our cash flow, reduce expense, manage money, debt, save money, goal, investments, and increase passive incomes. Looking at these nine points, it looks very simple to achieve, but it's hard to practice consistently. Let's look into these nine points. First, plan. The first and very important step is to create a budget plan for every month. It sounds too easy and silly, but most of the people fail in this step and tend to spend more without realizing on what they are spending on. Hence, create a proper budget plan and spend accordingly. Second, analyzing our cash flow. We need to track our cash which are coming into our accounts, which we call it as cash inflow, and cash which are going out of our accounts, which we call it as cash outflow. By this, we can identify our money which we are receiving and what we are spending every month. Keeping a track of this will make us realize our spending habits and in turn helps us in following some kind of financial discipline. Third point, reduce expense. So how do we do that? With the help of previous step, we will look into our cash flow statement. We can potentially identify some of our unnecessary expenses which we do every week or month. By saving these little expenses every week or month into equity or index funds, for longer duration can create a huge corpus for us which will be helpful in future. Saving shorter amounts into equity or index funds for a longer duration is also known as micro investing. Do comment below if you want me to make a video on micro investing. Fourth point, manage money. By following previous three steps, our brain will automatically be trained to manage our funds. This will also make us realize our own attitude towards money management. Fifth point, debt. Debt is the money that we owe to others. For example, banks, lending institutions, friends, relatives, etc. which we would have borrowed at some point of time and we should repay it back at some point of time. If we follow a disciplined financial process, we won't be having any necessary to borrow unwanted high interest paying loans such as credit cards, personal loans, etc. Debt is one such instrument. If we use it wisely, we can grow our wealth exponentially. But if used other ways or not managed properly, it will be one of the biggest nightmare of our life. Number six, save money. By following our previous steps, we should end up in at least some surplus money that we can allocate for insurance planning, emergency funds, investments, goals, etc. Allocate your initial savings for adequate insurance, ideally for pure term insurance and health insurance needed for one's family and then start building an emergency fund. In case you have no much knowledge or skill on how to select an insurance, you can contact our team and they will have a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with you, understanding your family situation and suggest you the best possible options which are available. Without insurance and emergency fund, 
In case of unexpected events, our mind will tell us to liquidate the assets or investments which we have been acquiring for long term purpose. This may lead to losses sometimes if markets are not performing at that point of time. Number 7. Goal This is one of the important steps in achieving our financial freedom. We should accordingly plan for our future goals such as child education, construction of home, buying a car, retirement corpus or whatever it may be. Doing this, we will have a fair idea of future cost of all our present goals. This indeed will help us in identifying how much funds we will be requiring and how much funds required to allocate monthly or yearly towards achieving those financial goals. Number 8. Investments Saving money for long term goals Long term goals ideally means greater than 5 years. In banks FD, RD or any low interest yielding instrument is a very bad idea considering present economic situations. But still most of us think that stock market is very risky and ignore this asset class. By doing this, we are just decreasing our money value year on year due to inflation. So for the long term goals, try to stay invested in higher interest yielding assets such as bonds, mutual funds, stocks, etc. Number 9. Increase passive income Instead of depending on single source of income, we need to generate income from multiple sources such as dividends from stocks, or regular income from bonds, rental yield, etc. At any point of time, if you think this video was useful, try to hit the like button, share this video to your friends and family members who are willing to learn financial concepts. Also, if you are visiting our channel for the first time, try to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. If you want me to cover any other specific financial concepts, do comment below. Thank you and have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.